Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. This is uh, C Sharp, and uh, today um, I've got a request um, from uh, one of you guys from the comments below. Um, you can see here um, <clears throat> needs help. This uh, person needs help uh, in a small uh, um, program, so we're gonna try and build it. Um, if you guys need any help in any in building any programs or whatever you need scripts code anything just write in the comments uh, down below and I'll try to make videos uh, about them <coughs> so uh, let's try and build it so we go here visual Microsoft studio go to um, file new project and Windows form and then we'll call it um, random X uh, okay and there you go. So the first thing we need, um, we're gonna need a label here, just like that here, and we'll need a text box. So text box, just like that, and we need a button. Right. So we're gonna go to the button properties, and we're gonna say check results here, just like that. So you're gonna double click here on the button, and you're gonna go here above, and we're gonna create a method. We're gonna go public. Um, void, uh, call it method x and then we're going to add um, the code here, so what you're going to do is you're going to say random um, <coughs> rand equals new random and then we say int first um, value equals rand on next and it's between 100 and 500 and say int second value equals rand dot next 100 500 <coughs> there you go so you have the so you here you have your randoms so now what you're gonna do we're gonna calculate them so int calculate equals first value plus second value <clears throat> that's it so you have the calculation now so now I will create an int an integer here so int uh, let's call it cal equals zero and then we're gonna say here cal equals calculate and then we're gonna say label one dot text um, equals first value plus and then you're going to say plus like that and then you're going to do plus <coughs> second value and then plus like that equals question mark and like that and there you have it so now we're going to go to the button here and we're going to say string x equals text box one <coughs> dot text and then you say if if int um, 32 uh, dot parse because we need to convert our string to integer x dot equals to cal then we're gonna do we are going to display the message box so message uh, box the show your answer is correct there you go else now we're going to say else <coughs> if it's wrong uh, we're going to say message box the show and then we're going to say your answer is wrong 
there you go and now what we're going to do is so it's going to reset every time we write the correct answer it's going to reset the it's going to display new calculations basically so if, if it's wrong it's going to remain the same until you type in the correct answer so here you're going to reset so you're going to rerun the method so you're going to say method x that's it and then you're going to copy this method x here and I'm going to just paste it in here just like that and you're going to save and now you're going to run right so now you have it so let's open a calculator here and uh, let's say so 160 plus 169 it's 329 so if I said 300 your answer is wrong if I say OK it remains the same if I said 329 check result your answer is correct if I click OK it's going to change again um, so that's about it um, thank you for watching this tutorial uh, don't forget to like subscribe and stay tuned for more of these tutorials and don't forget to write in the comment uh, in the comments uh, section below um, if you want any help with any code thanks for watching <clears throat>